the last upper lymph myotome is T1. T1 is a finger abduction. To do the movement uh, for grade 3, which is against gravity, we will have the um, uh, arm uh, across the patient's abdomen. So the shoulder is in internal rotation um, and slight flexion and adduction. The elbow is in uh, 90 degrees of flexion. And um, basically, um, we do the movement, um, the range that allows the forearm to be resting on the patient's abdomen. Now, the forearm is fully pronated. So uh, this brings the um, little finger up here and uh, can do the abduction against the gravity. We stabilize with both hands on the sides of the fingers um, and rest to maintain them in uh, extension. And we ask the patient to abduct the little finger. So do the movement abduction. Okay, relaxed. Um, if the patient is able to do the full range against the gravity, then this is grade three. Then we progress to grades four and five. For grades four and five, we uh, put the uh, little finger in abduction and we ask the patient to hold this position and as we provide resistance to uh, try to bring it uh, towards the other fingers. So hold this position. Okay, wait a second. Uh, this position. Hold the position and don't let me move you down. So we provide resistance against the distal uh, phalanx. And here notice that we're talking about minimal resistance really because this is a small joint, small muscle. Uh, this is abductor digiti minimi. And um, grade four is when the patient is able to exert moderate resistance. Don't let me move you down. And grade five is when the patient is able to provide maximal resistance. Mm -hmm. When doing these movements, uh, pay attention to the, an important substitution, which is uh, finger extension. And I think uh, Zaid is doing it a little bit here. So uh, abduct your finger, move it up. Okay. Uh, so it's pure abduction movement. We try to avoid, sometimes the patient would substitute by moving the finger into extension. So here, this is extension rather than abduction. So we try to maintain the movement in the uh, plane uh, of abduction. These were grades three, four, and five. If the patient is unable to do grade three, then we move to grade two. For grade two, the gravity eliminated position, we simply um, move the forearm into neutral uh, pronation supination. We were in pronation, now we move into neutral position. Um, so this way, the movement is in the gravity eliminated position, or we could have the arm next to the patient at their side. Let's do this position here, and we ask the patient to um, abduct the little finger. If the patient is able to do it, then this is grade two. If the patient is unable to do the full movement in the gravity eliminated position, then we palpate the tendon of the uh, muscle, which is at the side of the um, little finger here. Okay, or check the muscle belly. And this would be grade one. If nothing happens, then it's grade zero.